Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come through with a podcast. If you guys don't know, it is going down all over Instagram and Twitter and all that mess, okay? So what's going down is that right now, Nicole Murphy, honey, Antoine Fourqua, and Lila Rashawn are trending all over social media. So what happened is about three hours ago, um, pictures were leaked from Italy of none other than Nicole Murphy and Antoine Fourqua basically locking lips. I mean, kissing, honey. Okay, we know Nicole Murphy, a.k.a. Eddie Murphy's ex-wife, a.k.a. Michael Strahan's ex fiance is all the way single and living her best life. But what we didn't know is that Antoine Fourqua was a part of that shit. Because the last time we checked, which was just five months ago, Lila Rashawn, who is Antoine Fourqua's wife, was posting about her husband. And so she posted this not even five months ago. She says, congratulations to my husband, hashtag Antoine Furqua, who received the Filmmaker Award last night at the MPSE Golden Reel Awards. She's all smile, she looks happy, but he don't look too interested. He's just, you know, there. Even there's another picture she posted back in 2017 when they were in Turks and Caicos, and he just looks kind of bored, and she's saying, congratulations to my husband on another great film, The Equalizer 2, starring Denzel Washington, coming out in 2018. Like, she's always singing his praises, but I don't see too much of him, you know, doing the same on his social media towards her. So when these pictures came out, people were shocked. You know, people were like, hold up now. Now, we know Nicole Murphy's single, but what the hell is this about? And for y'all who don't know who Lila Rashawn is and who Antoine Fourquart is, um, Lila Rashawn was a really popular actress in the 90s. Her biggest role, to me personally, was uh, Waiting to Exhale. She was the real pretty, you know, vixen type who was messing with the with the big black dude that was like, I love it when you call me Big Papa. That was her, okay? So that was her in the 90s. Um, her and Antoine had been together for 20 years. I would call him almost as, I would call him, he's not as big, but almost on the same level as John Singleton. He's made a lot of hit movies like Training Day and all types of other movies. He's well known. He's a well known director in LA. And I remember a while back, I was listening to this like leaked audio of Tupac. And even Tupac was talking about Antoine Fourqua because they were supposed to be working on some projects together back in the 90s. He also did some stuff with Bone. Um, so he's like a well known director. You know, he does like a lot of gritty urban type movies. If you come from the ghetto and you make it out that water, you gotta be a cold ass shark. So, you know, a lot of people are really shocked by this because they don't make the blogs. They're a really quiet couple. They tend to keep them themselves. Um, so to see him locking lips with Nicole, honey, and he looked very, very happy. So if you guys have not seen those pictures, let me go ahead and show you those pictures right now. Check these out. All right, so you guys just seen those pictures of Nicole and Antoine swapping spit, honey. Yes, Nicole looks dang on good for having all them kids by Eddie Murphy, but this situation is not right, especially if Antoine Furqua is still married to Lila Rashawn. But that's not where all the drama ends, okay? So soon after all of this went viral, Lisa Ray decided to get involved. And for y'all who don't know Lisa Ray, honey, she played Diamond in Players Club, okay? All this damn 90s tea. So she played Diamond in Players Club, and so she went off today. She was going in. And this is what Lisa Ray had to say about the situation. So Lisa Ray steps into the shade room and she says, Girl at Nikki Murphy, you went after I am Lila Rashawn's husband too? Shake my head so wrong again. So when she wrote that, of course, Instagram went crazy. And folks were like, oh my gosh, she done did this twice. What the hell is going on? You know, what's wrong with Nicole? So of course, shortly after that, I'm sure Lila Rashawn is heartbroken and embarrassed. If you go and look for her account, 
her accounts are gone. She literally has deleted her Twitter and her Instagram. Um, I'm also hearing that Antoine has also deleted his social media as well. So right now they're not on social media. So, so I don't know if maybe they've been broke up, but now it's, you know, being publicized and they don't know how to handle it. But right now, neither one of them are on social media. And Nicole Murphy, she still has her social media up, but only certain people can comment. So she's basically disabled most of the comments. There's, you know, there's a lot of filters on her stuff. So nobody's able to really drag her in her comment section now that the pictures are up so my thing was this so I wanted to know why Lisa Ray decided to step in and you know throw shots at Nicole Murphy and I wanted to know you know who was this other person so I started researching and lo and behold I found an article from October 30th 2007 and it basically says here that Lisa Ray's husband Michael Missick dating Eddie Murphy's ex-wife Nicole Murphy so it looks like that's where some of their beef stems from. So it's being reported that um, Nicole was said to be a mutual friend of the couple. However, witnesses said the two were very close at an opening event, which Lisa Ray did not attend. Other sources say, our spies say that the premier bodyguard made sure there were no photos taken of the two and he did a great job. Neither Wire Image and the event's official photographer nor Access Hollywood who did a segment on the launch mentioned either of them being there. Michael Missick and Nicole Murphy were also seen being very friendly and kisses were exchanged between the two. A rep for Lisa Ray said, Nicole is a good friend and she and Michael were both there for an event but not together. So that's what was stated way back then. And as we all know, Michael Mystic, honey, he stayed cheating on Lisa Ray. Matter of fact, Roxy Diaz, here goes some, you know, some old tea. Roxy Diaz um, from 106 and Park, it ended up coming out that she was Michael Mystic's side chick. And so then her and Lisa Ray started beefing. So it looks like the whole Lisa Ray, um, Nicole Murphy thing goes deep. So maybe she found out after this situation that Nicole Murphy did get with her, you know, husband at the time so that's why she said again so this entire situation is crazy it's messy it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out I feel really bad for Leela Rashawn because she does seem like a really you know happy doting wife but Antoine Fourqua, I can say from the pictures I've seen of them recently, he just does not look interested. I don't know if it's maybe she's gotten a little bit older, she's gained some weight. It happens to the best of us, okay? But at the end of the day, if you're not happy, then you need to separate. There's no need to be in a relationship if you don't want to be in the relationship anymore, if you've lost interest in that person, if you guys have grown your separate ways. You know what I'm saying? Make it as less messy as possible. You know, let the world know that you guys are no longer together and then go on your separate ways. But to be out here creeping with, you know Nicole Murphy and then you know getting caught kissing by the photographers it's almost like they wanted to be caught because you know they're both high profile especially Nicole Murphy they could have been in the house and then nobody would be none the wiser it's not like somebody was taking pictures of them you know like through some curtains they were like right there in the open so they should have known what they were doing all right you guys we got some breaking news concerning this whole Nicole Murphy Antoine Farqua situation so uh, my blogging sis, Miss Jasmine Brand, um, basically she got some type of exclusive from a family friend. And I rocks with Jasmine, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what she posts on her website today, okay? So the Jasmine Brand is reporting this. They're saying the Jasmine Brand exclusively reports new details that have surfaced concerning the photos that have gone viral of director Antoine Fourqua and model Nicole Murphy earlier today. The pair made headlines when the photo leaked of the two of them. Sources close to Nicole tell us that the former Hollywood ex star was in Italy for a DME event when they ran into each other at the pool. They tell us that Nicole and Antoine are just family friends. As far as the images circulating of the du duo kissing, the sources says that it was a friendly kiss and that's why they were also photographed laughing. They added that it was a friendly hello, goodbye, and that's it. Antoine's wife, actress Lila Rashawn, has not commented publicly and has removed her Instagram and Twitter accounts. All right, so that is the exclusive tea that the Jasmine brand got. And, you know, I rocks with the Jasmine brand, but whoever that source is, sis, they're full of shit, okay? <laughs> That's my personal opinion. At the end of the day, this man is married. There's no such thing as a friendly kiss with my damn husband. 
or my wife. You feel me? Like, there was nothing friendly about that kiss. The fact, you know, a friendly kiss is a peck on the cheek. Like, oh, hey, how are you? A quick peck on the cheek, then we have a conversation. A friendly kiss is not you guys kissing for several minutes because there's different angles and stuff like that. And then on top of that, you guys are swimming together. Y'all are washing up together. Um, Y'all are sipping tea together. Like, this seems a lot more deeper than just a friendly hello, goodbye kiss. I feel like what's happening is that Nicole Murphy's people, they're trying to keep her image intact. Because remember, she's supposed to be the pretty model chick. And she was the one who was cheated on and abused by Eddie Murphy and all that stuff. So they're trying to keep her image intact. And this does not look good for her image. And so they're trying to spin this narrative that, you know, oh, it's just a friendly kiss. Well, guess what? Per the tea that I just read you guys not even two minutes ago, when she ran into her friend... Michael Missick, who was Lisa Ray's ex-husband. At that point, that was just, you know, a friendly interaction. It was a, you know, just a kiss. They were friends. But then the more Lisa Ray dug into it, she realized her husband was smashing Nicole. And that's why Lisa Ray said what she said today. So I'm not buying what this source is saying. I feel like this source is basically trying to, you know what I'm saying, make Nicole's image look better because right now she's being drugged all over social media. And if it was so friendly, why would the wife delete her Instagram and her Twitter? Delete all that shit! Delete all that shit! Don't play with you, piggy! You know what I'm saying? She deleted that because now the truth is out there. She doesn't want to see that on social media. She doesn't want to be bombarded. So like I always say, where there's smoke, there's fire, okay? And I'm sorry, I can't be in a marriage or in a relationship with somebody and then you're going around having friendly kisses with family friends. Like that that shit don't fly, sis. That shit does not fly, okay? I'd be having some words with Nicole because that's not how family friends get down. I have a lot of family friends and I've never kissed them. They, I don't even allow them to really kiss me on the cheek, let alone on the lips. I get the hell out of here with that. So anyways, y'all, that is the update. I hope you guys enjoyed this tea. You know what I'm saying? I had to break everything down, brought in some 2000s tea that y'all may not have been aware of. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation. Once again, concerning Antoine Fourqua, Nicole Murphy, Lila Rashawn. Lisa Ray and all this damn fuckery that went down and down social media. Do you guys feel like this source is valid or do you feel like this source is full of shit and they're just trying to clean up Nicole Murphy's image? And do you feel like there's ever an excuse for a family friend to kiss each other on the lips? Okay, so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces.